So I'm going to my lady's house. And by my lady, I mean Michael. And by my lady's house, I mean Michael's craft store. Gonna grab some stuff. I've also got a little co-pilot. Hi, Bean. Which is very nice. The weather's actually been warm enough, so the car temperature stays pretty warm. And she loves going out on little, like, just driving adventures. And we're gonna go eh, see if there's parking in the bubble tea place. Is there parking? Is there parking? Is there parking? No, there's no parking. Okay. Oh, yes! Oh. Wow! I'm so good at parking. And he's very interested in my bubble tea. But it's so not for you, honey. Guess we just spilled all over. Whee! I'll be a little bit sticky for my Michaels trip, but that's just fine. I'm gonna go into Michaels for a minute, okay? Michaels. Hey. Hi. Okay, so in classic me trying to get the supplies I need fashion and them being out of stock of what I need or they don't have it. I got, what color is this? Cadmium yellow, medium hue, permanent magenta, and cerulean blue. They did not have titanium white or ultramarine blue. I'm still gonna have to get those, but at least it's less stuff that I have to drag up and down between the two studios. And I did also get some more gesso because I knew I was like almost out and the gesso I have is like so old that when you like pour it out to gesso things it has like clumpies clumpies of like dried paint in it okay let's head back home and I'm going to get my recording studio supplies set up started and he's all blissed out in the sunshine she freaking loves a little car ride. So we got home and the second we did, Gomez decided he wanted to sit in my lap. So I'm giving him a moment. You gonna let me up? Can I at least get my bubble tea? It's over there. These are currently all the used acrylic paints that I own. And they're all slightly different, not all of them, but there's a couple different brands here. We've got these Liquitex Basics Acrylic Fluids. We've got some Artist Loft paints, also some Liquitex Heavy Body. You got itches? What I'm trying to do right now is separate an upstairs set from a downstairs set, but I don't think I'm gonna have everything I need. So I think I'm gonna keep all of these Liquitex basics down here. I really like working with them, but I can't work on them upstairs while I'm holding a paint palette because they're gonna dribble all over the place. I also have the new paints that I just bought today, including my new Liquitex, which is gonna go in my wife's garage because she's gonna do all of my gessoing for me because she's an angel. These are the three new ones I bought today that are gonna go specifically in the studio upstairs. I wanted to get another one of these at Michael's, but they also were out. So this one's mostly gone and this one's almost completely empty. So I think what I'm gonna do is put this guy upstairs as well so these five can live upstairs and i'm gonna have these guys all stay downstairs i also want to pick up some brushes for up there i've got some brand new ones in here too that i haven't touched yet and i still have these guys that i bought the other day that i haven't touched it either let's dump these out and organize them Let's start by getting rid of all the ones that I know are absolute garbage. And 
and this guy. Okay. These are my not great brushes, but they'll do. These are my pretty decent brushes, and these ones are all junk through the <laughs> super hard, or I know that I just do not like using them. And I'm going to pick out some brushes from here to be my upstairs recording studio. So let's see. These are the guys that are gonna go in the bucket to be my upstairs paintbrushes. These guys are gonna go back in my cup. There you go. Ta-da. Okay, so I have this little drawer or this uh, cabinet that I can put stuff in like this. I'm not gonna be using this stuff for a little bit. I'm done filming for the week. So I'm just gonna leave that there. Good morning. Ignore my greasy hair. I forgot to wash it last night. I literally forgot. I'm in my painting clothes today. I already have paint on them. Yep. Because I'm gonna do a serious painting day all day long. So I got my coffee and I'm getting my little studio set up and Nicknack and Gomez are snuggling at the island. This is what they do. He sits on this little chair like this. I was having trouble getting into painting today, so I decided to start with something easy. And I did a repaint of an old sketchbook into a new painting that I just took more time on and kind of used some more of like my skill sense. I painted this one to be able to expand upon it and make this cloud look more realistic. And I think I did a pretty decent job. This turned out a little bit brighter than this, which I kind of like better, but I do like the like form and like shadowing on this cloud. And then I got really distracted and I started just putting little, little sparklies everywhere and I did this. rigging up a weird palette using palette paper. Mixed up all my colors and then I cut out the piece of palette paper and I'm taping it to a little board so <laughs> that way it doesn't go nowhere. I went to open my liquid so that I could uh, have a little bit of medium here to help me with the flow of my paints, but it is <laughs> dried solid. So yet another thing for me to buy because I have not been painting for like a year. Woo! Oh dear. So I've been working like hours and hours on this and I'm only this far. I'm taking my sweet time and I'm also having like the craziest allergy day. So I'm gonna go take a break for a day, 
for the day. I'm gonna go take a break for the day. I'm gonna put my oil paints in the freezer so they don't dry up. And then I'm gonna go shower and see if that helps my nose. Maybe make some tea. It's rough though, man, woof. It's rainy out there. <laughs> oh, sorry, baby. Gomez, it's raining outside. Don't you wanna come inside? Buddy. Do you want breakfast? Yeah? yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go get breakfast. Oh, my man. I. There's a little pop rinse all over the floor. Oh. <laughs> I went to take a shower last night to see if that would help my nose. Because my big time allergies, my nose was just like TMI, it was pouring. And the shower did not help, so I resorted to taking half a Benadryl just to like really get it to stop. And I don't usually like doing that because it makes me feel like all dried out and shriveled up like a raisin. It's not like a good feeling, um, but I was, <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't take the runny nose anymore. So I conked out really, really early and ended up waking up early. I only have like a little bit of a headache from the Benadryl, but I'm not sneezing anymore. Today's another really big painting day for me. I'm really hoping to get that painting that I started yesterday finished. I have like a huge block of time. It's like seven, like 6 30 right now i don't know what time it is and i'm gonna paint until like five o'clock i <laughs> see if i can or at least till this painting is done i really want to finish this painting up and um when i'm done i'm gonna crochet my little heart out and work on that little pink cardigan that i started so we're gonna get going breakfast get a little protein in me I'm making good progress though I'm on the right track to getting done today Just about halfway down the panel and I think it's actually gonna go a lot quicker from here because there's way less detail on this bottom half than there is on the top half. But it's looking pretty good.
done. She's finally done. Can I get a, some video without a glare? Well, that's done, it, at least for right now, until it dries. I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then maybe do like a couple little edits, possibly. I might just leave my as is also. We'll see how I'm feeling. I have no idea how many hours I spent on this. Um, over eight for sure. I, I couldn't even guess. <laughs> I spent like five, six on it today and I probably spent three or four yesterday. Eight, nine-ish, I think. A, a lot longer than I remember paintings of this type taking me. So I've definitely, it's taken me a couple beats to get back into the oil painting game. But it feels good to get something done. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm like, because it's like, one of the first paintings I've done in a very long time, I've like struggled a lot with some of the like finer details and the control of the oils. And I still do really want to get myself some super, super nice, like old Holland or Gamblin kind of paints, like really nice, super pigmented opaque paints. But I certainly feel accomplished. I'm certainly fairly satisfied with it, even though there's changes I'd make and there's things that, what buddy? Are you just looking for attention? Come here. What are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. Give me a minute, okay? I'm almost working. My favorite part about this painting is kind of like taking so much time for me to get back into a medium I love so much that I've uh, let go for a long time. And even since I've been back painting for like a couple weeks here, I've been mostly sticking with acrylics because they're my comfort zone. I find them easier in a lot of ways, less intensive in a lot of ways. Um, so it was nice for me to kind of like give myself that time. It felt so good to give myself the time to just like cuddle up with this painting, like with snuggle it. <laughs> I can't snuggle it yet, it's still, it's still wet. I'm gonna ruin it if I try and snuggle it. But it's like a stormy day outside. I've got my comfy clothes on. I knitted these socks. Very like cozy, I'm feeling cozy. I completed something. I am like just in a super good mood, feeling good, really excited about how that went. And now I'm like, I need stuff. <laughs> I keep wanting to like buy things because I don't have what I, what I used to. Things are, are either used up or old, or I'm ready to start making further investments into like my artistry. Artistry, is that what you call it? I don't know, I'm like ready to like commit. I deserve nice things, I deserve time, and I also deserve to take a break now because I'm exhausted and I'm gonna go um, do some crocheting and work on that little pink cardigan that I started the other day. So that's what I'm up to, that's where I'm leaving off this vlog, and I'll see you in the next video. Say bye, Gomez. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, okay, let's go. You wanna go outside?